Hey guys, what's up? In this video, you're going to learn to bring a drawing or a sketch to life and transition it right into the video clip the image came from. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to use Final Cut Pro in combination with Pixelmator to achieve this effect. If you want to follow along with me, all the images and videos used in this clip can be downloaded for free from Pixabay. I'll include the download links in the description. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and see how we can recreate this effect. First thing we want to do is grab our still background image and drop it into our timeline. Since it's a 4x3 image, first thing we should do is crop it to fit a 16x9 screen. From the Transform drop down menu select Crop and pick the Crop option in the viewer. Next let's place our playhead at the start of our clip and connect our video clip to the timeline. Skim over to the frame you want to turn into your sketch and press Option F to grab a freeze frame. Next let's delete the first part of the video clip and ripple trim our freeze frame to match the length of our still image. Next thing we want to do is grab an image of our freeze frame and export it into Pixelmator. Place a playhead anywhere over the freeze frame clip and from the share drop down menu select save current frame. If you don't see save current frame in your share drop down menu scroll all the way down to the bottom and select add destination. Drag and drop save current frame into your destinations menu. Instead of exporting your entire project, select and save current frame will only export one frame from your video clip. Once done, right click on your exported image, select open with and Pixelmator. What we want to do with our image in Pixelmator is turn it into a sketch. Once our image is in Pixelmator, from the menu bar select image and color adjustments. Now in the effects browser, from the drop down menu select stylize, scroll down and drag and drop the sketch effect onto your clip. Next thing we want to do is play around with the parameters until our image looks like a sketch. Once done, click OK and from the menu bar select file, export and export it as a JPEG file. Now let's jump back into Final Cut Pro and import our new image. Next thing we need to do is connect our sketch image to the timeline above the freeze frame and make sure it's the same length. With the playhead at the end of the still image, hold down the shift key and press the back arrow to move back 10 frames. Do this two more times so the playhead is 30 frames away from the end of the clip. Now in the inspector, add a keyframe beside the opacity slider. Move the playhead back to the end of the clip and bring the opacity slider all the way down to zero. Now, when you skim over the end of the clip, the sketch should fade into a color image. Next thing we need to do is scale our video clip to fit inside the picture frame. Command click the three parts of the video clip and combine them into a compound clip by pressing Option G. Now with the compound clip selected, select the transform button and use a scale slider in the center button in the viewer to scale down and center our image inside the picture frame. Now let's ripple trim our bottom clip to the same length as our video clip and take a look. The last thing we want to do for this effect is zoom in on the entire image to make the video clip fill our screen. Select both your clips and combine them into another compound clip. Now skim over the clip and place a playhead at the point when our video clip is in full color. With our clip selected, hit the transform button and in the inspector, Add keyframes beside the position and scale of your clip. Now move the playhead ahead about 30 frames and resize the video clip to fill your screen while keeping it centered. Remember, if you run out of room on your scale slider, you can click on this number and use the up and down arrow keys to keep going. Let's take a look and see how our finished effect looks like. For my example, since I have Pixelmator available, I use it to help me achieve the sketch look I use in this video. Unfortunately, as far as I know, Final Cut Pro does not come with a sketch effect built in. So to do this without Pixelmator, you would have to download and install a third party plugin. Everything I came across during my research cost money, but I'm sure there's a free sketch plugin out there. If you know of a sketch effect plugin for Final Cut Pro that works good, let me and others know in the comments and I'll make sure the link doesn't get classified as spam. As always, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with someone else who might enjoy it. New Final Cut Pro tutorials release weekly, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back next week.